Hi. Well, um, I'm having a lazy Sunday, and um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I had lots of, of visions of me getting some work done at school, but, you know, I think that work will still be there tomorrow. I was there yesterday and did some things, so I'm okay. Um, and I am just so amazed at how white my hair looks, because to me, in person, it looks kind of yellowish, but this looks pretty white, doesn't it? Anyway, yeah, people hardly ever see me with my hair down. It's getting kind of long, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. So anyway, I got a new Therabox, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, they seem to be coming closer to, to on time now. Maybe that's, you know, with the pandemic loosening its grip or whatever, I don't know. So um, here it is. It's always the same kind of box. And this one smells amazing right from the get-go. I, I took it, it comes in like a plastic mailing bag, you know, one of those Tyvek mailing bags. And the minute I cut that open, it smelled heavenly. So I know what's in here because I saw shares, but let's look at it together. As always, there's the little sticker that says, I wish you every happiness. And I do, I wish you every happiness. I debated doing this because, you know, it's kind of a sad time right now. Um, with Ruth, the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She was an amazing woman. But we need some consistency and joy in our lives too. So I decided I'd go ahead and do this. But see, it says, I wish you every happiness. And the theme of this one is Sweet Dreams. Um, I like that they always have these booklets and if you lose it or it gets yucky or whatever, um, it always has the, the list of what's in the box and, and the suggested retail prices right here, like this says $19. So you can see that you're getting your money's worth. Um, do I use everything that comes in this box? No. But I do use a lot of it. I'm surprised that I do. Um, no one can keep up with all those journals. So if you have a need of a, a self-introspective kind of journal, let me know. I got some. So this is Evening Goggle Eye Mask Repair and Relax made with copper, amino acids, hyaluronic acid, and centella. And I think, I'm trying to see, I saw a picture that looked intriguing. Number seven. Yeah, it really is kind of goggly. Do you see it right there? I won't open it because then I'd have to use it, but it is pretty goggly there. So I'm thinking you put that on and, um, let's see, seven. You can get a discount. Apply to a clean face and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Gently massage in any remaining serum to, to seal in more moisture. So this is just to, you know, help with those tired eyes. We all are on screen probably way too much. Um, for me, it's allergy season. I know it's fall, but um, I'm allergic to leaf mold. I'm allergic to dust. I'm allergic. So when we start closing things in, my allergies act up more. Um, you can kind of hear from I'm a little nasally. Um, oh, this looks pretty. This is from Organic and Botanic Amazonian Berry Reviving Night Moisturizer. Now, all of this is sealed, so I'm not going to open it up um, because right now I'm, I'm working my way through another moisturizer, and so I don't want to unseal this until I'm going to use it. Um, a lot, surprisingly, a lot of what I use from the TheraBox um, are things like night moisturizers. I, I got a vitamin C serum. Actually, I have it on right now. I got a vitamin C serum from TheraBox 
that's almost gone. There's only about this much left that I just love. And then, of course, from Minimo, the Glow Turmeric Face Scrub. I've, I have repurchased that. There's a foam party on my face, and you're invited by Grace and Stella. So AM and PM massage one pump to wet face and rinse up. So this is a, a face wash. I have, I'm not, all right. I know it gets you clean and all, like when you do the oil cleansing and that kind of thing. But there's something about the foaming action of like a, a soap or like this is a foam that makes me feel cleaner. And I know it's it's psychological, but then what is it, right? So then what is this? Essence One Handcrafted Morning Calm Purifying Hand Spray. Um, shake before each use, spray on hands generously and rub in until absorbed or spray on hard surfaces after spot test and write dry with a dry towel or cloth. And this is 70% alcohol. So this is a hand sanitizer, or you can even sanitize surfaces, but it says make sure that it's safe with the alcohol. And it's a nice size. It's a, a good pop in your purse size. Um, in these days of pandemic, this is a great thing to have in here. And I'm sure it smells amazing. Everything from... from It does actually, you know, there's that initial alcohol kind of smell. Yeah, and then a nice, nice smell. Okay, this is going in my purse. This is what made everything smell so good. This is a organic lavender and mugwort herbal eye pillow. And even unopened, it smells heavenly. And I'm pretty glad this came because I have a lavender pillow in my bed. Oh, that smells so good. It says there's a little kitty on it. Do you see the little kitty? It says, I'm busy, right? Meow. <laughs> so I think you're supposed to just kind of put this on your eyes. When you're laying down. Oh, God, that smells good. Yeah, we're going to try this. This is pretty cool. Mmm. So refreshing. All right, and this is Sleep Tight Pure Essential Oil Remedy. Apply to the temples, wrists, and behind ears before bed, or rub in palms and inhale. So some sort of um, essential oil that, that will help you sleep. And this is by Way of Will. They've had Way of Will things in TheraBoxes before, and they're always very good. 100% pure essential oil remedy doesn't say which essential oils are in here. So I don't know. I can't tell you. Ooh. I don't want to put it there. I have that spray on there. Let's see what that smells like. It's not it's not a strong smell. There's some menthol or eucalyptus in there. Maybe tea tree. And I think lavender. It's very pleasant. Um, like I said, it's not strong. So it's not an overwhelming smell. Oh, there's a, a little card in here I can see. Supernatural wellness for everybody. Enjoy 50% off your first order at wayofwill.com. 
Well, that's pretty nice. Um, I can't remember what else was from Way of Will, but like I said, I am surprised at how much of the things in Therabox I use. Um, I, I had a prescription, pres prescription, a subscription box, oh, years ago. I can't remember who it was from, but I hardly ever used anything in it, so I, I quit it. I use almost everything in, in the box. Like I said, I can't keep up with the journals, but, you know, they're not going to rot or anything. This is a CBD fizzy disc bath bomb. And it is organically grown U.S. hemp. A portion of the profits goes to AFSP and NAMI and H um, for suicide prevention. Stored in a cool, dry place. So um, it's baking soda, citric acid, polyscorbate 80, MCT oil, sweet orange, tangerine, patchouli, ylang ylang, and rosemary essential oils, mica color phytocannabinoid rich hemp oil and witch hazel. So it's no pesticides, no solvents, no GMO, lab tested, organically grown U.S. hemp. Wow. Clearly balanced days. Um, as soon as I have the ongoing saga of the bathtub, as soon as I have a bathtub, I will try this. What else? There's always these little shavy thingies. And <laughs> a Sweet Dreams Sleep Journal from MyTheraBox.com. Should we look in it? I always like to look. I figure it doesn't hurt to look, and even if I do give it as a gift, I haven't written on the pages, so I think we'll be okay. Yes, I thought I had a bathtub. I was very excited. I envisioned coming home on a Friday and having a nice soaky bath, maybe with a bath bomb. Um, and no, they replaced the faucets and the shower head and all of that, but they didn't fix the drain. So I can't fill the tub where, where there's supposed to be, you know, where you put the stopper to drain, to, to stop the water from draining out so that you can fill the tub. There's nothing there. There's just a hole. I mean, you can't even put a plug in it because there's just a hole. And, um, I don't know if they realize that. And I keep saying fix the drain, but uh, I don't know. So this is a Sweet Dreams Sleep Journal, and it has stages of sleep and sleep positions and all of that. My Fitbit tracks my sleep, and sometimes it's not so good. Sometimes I don't want to see it. Um, the Insomnia Severity Assessment. in case you want to know how severely insomniac you are. Some days I'm very in severely insomniac. Um, what do you prefer when it's time to count sheep? And then they have late in bed, early in bed, lights off, night light, more pillows, one pillow. I need lots of pillows and a night light. Um, thin blanket, um, pajamas, barefoot, I'm a, a back sleeper or a side sleeper, and I don't have anything before bed because at my age, if I drink something before bed, it just means I'll have to get up and pee. Um, sound asleep, setting the mood, how to, how to set the mood for a good night's sleep, sleep-friendly plants, and sleep bites, things that you can eat that might help you sleep. That's kind of cool. Um, sleepy time golden milk or chamomile lavender tea recipes. Huh. We've never heard of golden. Caffeine free chai latte. 
Oh, it starts with a bag of, of rooibos tea. I don't like rooibos tea. I know it was all the rage and everything, but mm, not my thing. Um, Japanese onion soup with mushrooms. I'm not sure I'd want that before bed, but you know. 30 day bedtime workout challenge. And it has some yoga over here. Huh. Do this workout every night, but take every Sunday off. Cross off the days as you go. Hmm. Skin care before bedtime. Face yoga. I've heard that actually works. Facial steam and dry brushing. I got a dry brush from Therabox and um, I tried it and it hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it hurt. And it said, so those of you with delicate skin use it wet with soap. So that's what I do. How a hot bath can help with deep and peaceful sleep. This is what I want. I want a bath. I need a bath. I'm not a shower person. I just am not fond of showers. Foot soak. I should do more foot soak and try and kill whatever is bothering my toenails. What is sleep meditation? Four, seven, eight breathing technique. So this isn't a journal. This is more of a how-to book. What is yoga something? Nidra. Yoga Nidra. I don't know what yoga Nidra is. What is aromatherapy? That I know. Smell of the stuff. Um, DIY lavender, vanilla lavender linen mist. Now, I do like a linen mist, and, and I have a pillow spray that I use, and it does help. And I have a lavender pillow, and now I have a lavender and mugwort eye pillow. So I think that's going to be helpful. Well, then they have a, they, how to make a dream pillow. Good sleeping habits. Turning off the blue light, why it's important. Yeah, I've been reading more and more about the blue light on computers and how it really can mess you up. Turning off all lights in your home one to two hours before bedtime. So you just sit in the dark, I guess. Or it says candlelight. Keeping your bedroom completely dark or using a sleep mask. I have to have light in my room. So, like, there's no curtains in my bedroom and there's huge, huge windows. And, of course, I live in a big city, so there's lots of ambient light, and I'm good with that. Before you close your eyes, erase all negativity from the day that passed and be happy for the day to come. Enjoy the safe sanctuary that is your bedroom. I do do that. I like my bedroom. Embrace the peace that you have created for yourself to get better sleep. Forgive everyone, including yourself, and sleep with a clean, love-filled heart. Rest and let go. My own ideas to improve my slumber. Um, sleep affirmations, and they have some that they wrote for you and a place to write some. Sleep bingo, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Before you snooze, a bedtime self-care checklist. Sleep logs, bedtime routine plan, and um, next day reflection. They have a couple pages for that. Review and reflection for the month. Um, dream log. I've been remembering my dreams more since this pandemic thing. I don't know. Have you guys? And I love pictures of, of the night sky. I think that's so cool. I once sold a gown that was made of a silk, a sheer silk that had a print that looked exactly like this on it. And then um, scattered throughout, but not heavily, just here and there was like a brilliant, shiny crystal. It was the prettiest gown I'd ever seen. It was so simple and so beautiful. That's when I sold designer clothes. Um, and I've never seen another gown like it. 
Um, we, I sold it to a lady for the annual um, Minnesota Orchestra Ball. They had a, an annual ball that supported the Minnesota Orchestra. And she was going, and you had to kind of keep track of who was wearing what because you didn't want people showing up in the same dress, but no one was gonna show up in that dress except her because we only had the one. And it was so beautiful. I often wish I could see that dress again. It was just stunning. So that's what's in the fair box this month. I'm kind of happy about it. Um, if you need some journals of various kinds, just let me know. I've got several. <laughs> I do. And, um, and while I love journaling and I make lists and I, and I use them, there's no way I'm going to make it through all these journals. So if you think you would like one, drop me a comment. Let me know. I can probably mail one off to you. So that's it for Therabox this month. I'm looking forward to next month. The one in October is always really cool. I can't believe I've been getting Therabox for a year now. Yeah, not, my nail polish is all gone. Um, and I originally thought, well, I'll subscribe for like three months and then maybe take three months off and then three months. And But I so look forward to getting this box every month. Um, that I'm not ready to unsubscribe yet. Cause I thought, cause there are some um, like witchy boxes that you can get that are a monthly subscription that have like crystals and essential oils and that kind of thing in them. But so does this, I like this box. So I think I will just stick with it. Mm, and I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. Um, even if I'm kind of playing hooky. I want you to, to enjoy yourself. I want you to relax. Um, go check out my new blog post. Take care. <laughs>